Well hey there, this is Marty, the new guy in the ham radio. Just coming back with another video here about the Yaesu FTM200D. That is the North American version of this radio. Since I'm new to ham radio, I thought, hey, why not talk about my experiences, stuff that I've learned, stuff that I found hard, and maybe that will be useful to some folks out there. Uh, so what you're looking at here is couple of memory stations that I've got set up and I wanted to show you a couple of things about it. Uh, number one, you will start in VFO mode which you can trigger with the VM MW button right there and once you've picked a station that you want to program in, I'm just gonna move a couple numbers here, you hold down the memory button and that triggers a memory option here. You'll see that I, um, it automatically goes to the next available memory slot and you have a couple of options here. One is you can overwrite one that you already have, which you'll get warned about before you do that, or you can drop it into a new memory and hit write. Now once you've done that, <coughs> you may realize that your repeater needs to have a PL tone or something, one of the other versions of that. Um, you'll notice on this one, for example, um, there's a, a TN114.8, that is the tone. But what really confused me for quite a while is, how do you do that? How do you in, um, add that tone? Uh, because there's no option to do it when you trigger a new memory. So let's go ahead and write this one. Okay, there's write, and it's there. Now what? So it is in my memories. Let's see here, there it is. So that is the one that I programmed in, even though it doesn't have any repeater in this area. We're just gonna use that for an example. So what you need to do is go back into your memories Go to your new one, hit the this little button here when you push it in, gives you options, and you edit. And notice that there's no PL tone, there's no extra information other than you can tell it whether you want it to be in the scan. So if you go into your memories and you um, hold down um, the Mike's uh, up and down button, it will automatically scan through everything, or it will scan through the VHF or UHF if you set it only to look at those frequency ranges. So this will turn the, this will exclude or include it in that scan. And this will allow you to, you know, add a tag. I like to add the repeater's name and where it is geographically. It kind of helps me remember where, where that repeater is at and kind of helps me keep in mind what who I'm talking to and whether I might be able to hit that station or not. So we're still left with a problem. There it is. You know, we normally I would have added my name, but still no CTS CS tone and wondering how in the world do I do that? Well, in this case you hit the memory or the menu rather. And you notice in the default menu, when you don't hold it down, you just push it one time, you can turn on the squelch here, and then you can select from the different options. So this is the next little part that I found confusing. What does T-E-N-C mean? Well, that means tone encode. So if you're just doing a CTSCS tone, that's the option you'll want. So you'll click that and then you on down the list here. And this these two options are the default that are in that main that menu when you just hit this one time. You can um, configure this in different ways if you want to, uh, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. So now once we've told it what type of tone, then we have to select which one we want. And as you see, I can go through here and pick one that's appropriate that I've found matches the repeater that I'm gonna try and hit. And once we go back, notice that that tone, 
that I picked 114.8 is now saved to that particular memory. So you go back and forth, notice that it's saved there. So really when you set up a repeater that has a tone, you're going to be doing a multi-step operation. You'll first go to VFO uh, to type in the repeater's frequency. You're going to hold down the VM button to trigger a memory record. Then you'll go into that memory again. Let's say we want to go into this one. You select it from the list. I'm not going to actually do it right now, but you get the point. We'll just go through and find where it is and select it. You can edit it to add a tag or whether you want it to stay in the scan list or not. And then at the main screen here, you will trigger the menu button and enter the squelch that's appropriate for that repeater. Not every repeater has that requirement. But for those that do, that's how you can make that happen. Hope that helps. And don't forget to leave a like.